Hello, welcome from Bangladesh. I'm here in the flood response, taking the Sphere Handbook with me. And uh, we are now in a community which we have visited for the second time. Um, and we agreed that we will install a sky hydrant, a water filter uh, in this community. How to use Sphere in practice? If you go to the wash chapter, you will see key is community engagement. What is happening right now is exactly that. We are discussing how this uh, water filter can be sustained in a long time. So we have here, we have many uh, assistances which will help us. Uh, accountability. So we have to be accountable for the affected people, but they and the people-centered approach of Sphere, they, they can just make this project happen. Um, we have coordination, collaboration, um, information and communication, uh, and we have people as many, many uh, indications which give us hints not to forget that. The main issue is now here uh, that everything is agreed. We have the perfect spot. And now we just have to agree because we are using the electric pump of the community, how to pay for that. And that's okay. We need to have this this, this, this discussion. At the moment, um, it's only the men talking, which is fine. So here, we also work on specific uh, sphere standards. We are in the watch chapter, and we are trying to achieve the minimum standard 2.1 excess and water quantity. People have equitable and affordable access to a sufficient quantity of safe water to meet their drinking and domestic needs. We want to reach this quality. Sphere is suggesting a lot of good key actions, how we are getting there. Identify the most, important, uh, most appropriate groundwater or surface source. We have that. But contextualization and involving the community is key because with our um, device, with a filtration device, we could use the surface water. But people explain to us they will never use it. Even though we explain it's safe, we are getting a lab test, they will never use it. So now we are using the infected wells that they're using anyway. And there are diseases uh, spreading. Uh, there are a lot of reports of diarrhea and other diseases. So we are using their context. We are using their knowledge. Uh, in order to identify the right uh, place. So there are many, many more very practical suggested key actions, what you need to do in order to reach a high quality and accountability, especially for the affected people. Then, as you know, Sphere is also suggesting key indicators. And again, the 15 liters everybody's talking about is, of course, not a minimum standard. It's only a target of a key indicator. And we will not have that. We will not reach 50 liters per person here. But we are in the first phase of an emergency. Uh, we agreed with the community that they have water for their drinking needs. They are using other water for um, other domestic needs that they have. Sphere is also suggesting uh, uh, giving guidance notes. So th those guidance notes are actually tips from best friends, from people who have experience in other contexts. And there are many things which I could use uh, right here. But one thing maybe I want to mention is access and equity. Because now uh, you cannot see, but I'm standing in water. And uh, to a lot of people who have maybe mobility limitations, who maybe uh, cannot act about the information that there's a safe water source here soon, we have to consider those people. And um, the best is follow the approach, nothing about us without us. So this applies for any marginalized group, but also for the community. Nothing will ever work without them. We should not work for them, but with them. Greetings from Bangladesh.